What's up guys, Matt here, back with another video on the channel and we are here to react to the new tour, the Sunday tour. Guys, you're gonna have to excuse my voice tonight. I've been, life's been a bit crazy. We've been uh, moving out of our house, putting a new kitchen in and I'm um, in the midst of that, you know, uh, just winter sickness um, can, can happen too. So uh, bear with me tonight, guys, but let's go have some fun and not let that hold us back. Um, so let's go straight in and check out everything to do with the new tour. Make sure you've subscribed to the channel, guys. We just hit 650 subscribers. Like the video, guys, and um, let's go and have some fun. All right, so the ocean tour is all done. It's all wrapped up, and I had a fun last 24 hours. Last night, I was kind of finished with Ranked. Pretty happy with where I landed. I definitely didn't land first, but I was happy with where I landed. So I went, you know what? Let's just go for ACR. Let's see what, uh, you know, a couple hours of ACR push can kind of do on the account. So I got in there. I, um, I grinded hard. Here we go. Here's, here's the download. And um, I got quite a good gain. So I think I was at about 1,025,000 points. And then I got all the way to 1.2 million, so about 175,000 point gain in, in maybe like three hours total. Um, so I was pretty happy with that, seeing as I didn't even plan on going for ACR this tour and just chilling out. So yeah, it shows what the strength of your loadouts can do um, with minimal effort. So I was kind of, I was kind of being happy with like 160 actions on like a 200 plus action track. Um, so, you know, it was a bit of fun, um, and it made for a lot more fun than grinding really hard every single course, so we'll save that for the times that I really want to be competitive, um, and you know, when we feel like it, but it was fun in the midst of life and everything going on, I was able to still uh, hopefully meet the target and the cutoff, so here we go guys, let's react to the brand new tour, the Sunday tour. Look at that, ice cream galore. I plan on having some ice cream tonight, but you know what? Middle of winter, not feeling the best at the moment. We'll give the ice cream a miss. All right, here we go, guys. This Sunday tour is now open. And let's get stuck in. I'm just gonna check the audio levels first. I think ranked is gonna pop up. Here we go. How did I do in ranked? Did I hold on to my fifth place? Boom, there we go. So we held on to tier 76. We got some rubies, we got some coins, and most importantly, we're building that ticket stash. Very nice. All right, so congratulations to my opponents and to people on my friends list. Let's see who was our top five. So shout out to E.R. Schmidl, Kanye Beast, Shadow Legend, David King, Natalie, you are my top five on my friend list. Good stuff, guys. And we placed all the way down in 25th. So it's pretty uh, crazy loadouts, this tour. All right, so these are the ranked results. And we've got the news. Just going to check the audio. I might just turn that down a little bit. All right, here we go. So let's go and check out the news. We're going to check out uh, the shop, the gifts. Uh, we're going to check the ranked cup and the courses that are appearing in ACR this tour to see how we would rate this tour. So let me know in the comments down below, how would you guys rate this tour? First up, we've got a message from the Mario Kart tour team. Thank you for playing. We'd like to tell you about some changes coming in a future update. Okay, so I think this is the same update we've had, guys, and it's pretty exciting stuff. I think it's definitely strongly indicating that we've got a battle mode coming, which is exciting. And it's interesting that they're joining standard and gold races, um, but then gold pass subscribers will still be able to increase their grade to S and higher. So I guess what they're trying to do is just improve the multiplayer experience by getting everybody into the same lobbies. Maybe that will help improve things. So we'll see. Maybe it means that there'll be more control over the race speed and, and, and things like that. Um, so any updates and improvements in multiplayer is always very welcome in this game. Several other changes are also scheduled for the update. That's what's really interesting is, you know, does that mean battle mode? So we'll have to find out. 
Um, so as well as, okay, so early September. So a few weeks away from this. So it should be exciting. If it's not the next tour, then it will be the following tour. Okay, expiring at the end of this tour, summertime celebration. So the summertime celebration will continue on the Sunday tour. We've got the summer login bonuses will continue to be active for the Sunday tour. Oh, that's epic. So we get two tours worth of... Wait, you can get up to 14 bonuses. Okay, I think that means I've already collected them all. So I guess if you miss a day last tour, then you can still collect them this tour, which is which is quite generous. I was thinking it was 28 bonuses, but no, apparently not. Okay, and there we go. Better rewards in the token shop. So the token shop will be upgraded to feature the steel driver and great sale. And you also get a golden pipe, which guarantees a driver, cart, or glider. Great. Um, steel driver's pretty good. Great sale's pretty good. You know, this kind of... Middle, middle of the road, high ends, um, it really depends if your account has them at a high level or not. So I think for my accounts, that's, that's pretty good. Okay, so we've got the Sunday tour, tour starts now, but before we go into that, we're going to go check out the first pipe. And before we do, guys, some predictions for items. So I know there's been a lot of discussion in the community about what item uh, Vanilla, it looks like, does it say his name? Oh, White Tanuki. Okay, the ice cream minibus and the chocolate banana minibus. <laughs> I like it. That's funny. Um, but there's been a lot of discussion about what white, uh, the skill that white Tanuki Mari would have. And there's really two camps, whether it's just going to be kind of a filler uh, filler skill in terms of, you know, not a, not a premium pl or plus skill or a high scoring skill. Um, and then other people saying, well, he was, a, he was an invincible power up. Um, in uh, I think it was uh, Mario Land or something like that, 3D Mario Land. Um, so it could be a pot, uh, you know, a really good skill. But just my review on this pipe. So we've got four new spotlights in terms of two gliders and two carts. Then we've got Tanuki Rosalina, who has massive value, and this might be one of the only times she's actually returned in a pipe. So pretty good uh, value there and then we've got the brand new driver so it could you know, for those on the fence it could come down to his skill um but having that many new items five new items in a 100 pipe is a great start and we've got yeah so there's nine high end so that's a great we like nine high end pipes we don't like six high end pipes in terms of the carts it's not a great hit box size so if you're invested in coin box it's not going to be great for coin collection, but they look flipping cool, and who knows, they could get some pretty unique coverage. Um, the trend is typically like a non-spotlight carton, like a, a special pipe, or a second week, a second week spotlight cart that's brand new, tend to hold a lot more value than these first week carts, but still, you know, you, you never know, so it might be worth uh, stashing it or seeing it, what its starting value is. So let's go in, let's take a look at first these gliders. Oh, and uh, my prediction for White Tanuki, it's it's got to be. I put on uh, Studfit's uh, guessing guessing game. I put lucky seven, but it could easily be Tanuki Leaf, uh, which was my initial guess. And then it also could be something like Ice Flower, which the ice cream me is getting, which would be the other predictions. It's got to be one of those. I'm kind of split three ways, so I'd say thirty three percent percent chance of of each. If the courses are looking really good this tour in terms of ACR and it's lucky seven, I'm going to have to consider going for a top 100 run. But we'll see what happens. Um, you know, we'll have to take some time to figure out if that's the, if that's the way we go. So let's go check it out. Um, first of all, we've got the vanilla and chocolate balloons. They look so cool. Oh, man. Mushroom Plus. We've got Sky High Sunday RT. Oh, so we've already got an RT course. That's, that's interesting. Then we've got Cooper Cape. Coconut Multi and Baby Park Tea. So some really good starting four courses there. And we've got Vanilla Lake 1, Remix Rainbow Road to RT, Rosalina's Ice Road RT back. Cool. Could be unranked. We'll see. We'll see. And then Baby Park R. So Baby Park here to stay this tour. Not so stoked about that. Um, we've got a few returning courses, but uh, yeah, quite interesting. That's quite good starting coverage, I would say. Depends on your account. Then we've got the Mint and Berry Balloons, so Remix Vanilla 1R, Sky High Sunday, the regular version, Sky High Sunday R, Cooper Cape T, Vanilla Lake 1R, RMX Vanilla Lake 1T, Coconut Mall, 
Sky High Sunday, Artisa is two, four, six, eight. Okay, so nine courses. It's okay. It's it's not topping what we saw with those um those tropical balloons last tour. Uh, we've got the chocolate banana minibus. All right, Sky High Sunday. Oh, it's got all three variants of Sky High Sunday. So that's really good start for this cart. People will be talking about that. Baby Park Tea. I think that's relatively paywalled, that one, in terms of the carts. Cooper Cape Tea, again, quite paywalled. So this is a good start for a cart, I would say. Donut Place 2R, uh, Remix Vanilla Lake 1 Tea. Yoshi Valley R, again, good. And then Baby Park R, two Baby Parks. So that is a good start for a cart coverage right there. Ice cream mini bus, cool, pretty similar, maybe not quite as good. It's got three different vanilla light, oh, four different vanilla light, ah, oh, hang on, one, yeah, one, two, three, yeah, four different vanilla lights, which is interesting. So that one might be tied to the ice type courses, which you see with carts like the Snow Skimmer or the Rambi Runner, or, you know, a lot of these white colored carts tend to be tied to the ice courses. Then we've got Tanuki Rosalina, let's see if she got any buffs this tour. And, wow, it looks like she didn't. Okay, interesting to see a spotlight driver not get one. you got to look out for this, guys, because she will likely be in ranked as like a a cup boost, uh, not a cup boost, a pipe boost. And what they'll do is quite sneaky. They'll add the course down here. See this? Sky High Sunday R. So don't think for a second that she actually has that course. She will probably never use that course again unless she happens to be in a pipe as a spotlight and she happens to have that course showing up in the same tour. So it doesn't necessarily add value to her coverage. It does give her value to her rank usage. So we'll see that in a second. Here we go, guys. White Tanuki, what is it? Oh my goodness. Oh, guys. This, oh my goodness. Guys, hang on. It's giant banana. Does that mean I have to go for top 100? <laughs> Stuff it. It's the year of the giant banana, man. Wow. Okay, this this changes things a lot. I've I've got enough rubies to drain, and I think I think 100. percent Oh, let's take a look at his coverage. But I th I think I'm gonna have to drain for him. Spin all my rubies. And the thing for me is, if I'm draining for a character, if I'm draining a pipe, I'm going all in. I'm spending my tickets because it's 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 got to happen. Oh wow, guys, it's the year of the giant banana. It's it's happening. I really wanted to go all in on Chef Rosalina, but just her coverage wasn't there. You know that city start, man. I I feel really sorry for people who've gone in on her now. Because this is going to degrade her value even further. Um, wow. Okay. <laughs> guys. Guys. <laughs> what the heck? Giant banana. So, we now have these courses confirmed as giant banana. Here we go. So, we got Sky High Sunday, giant banana. Remix filling out 1R. I think that's a Satellaview track there. Sky High Sunday RT. So, it's an RT. So, not as good value there. But hey, it's it, it will be in ranked. Yoshi Valley R, which I think that is a I'm not sure we need to check that track, but I think that's one that Donkey Kong has got a lot with the cut boost. But I think it actually is another coin box character. I'm not sure. We'll check that. Then we've got Vanilla Lake 1T, Donut Plains 2T, Remix Vanilla Lake 1, and Yoshi Valley. Cool. So there's a bit of coin box overlap there already, which isn't great. We'll need to look at his coverage more interestingly, but guys, you take this thing up to a high level, you're going to have a fun, fun time. We're going to be making banana splits on Sky High Sunday. I am so excited. Guys, this tour just went from like a, I don't know, like my expectation was like a six. Already that's like boosted it to like an eight or an eight and a half, let's say. So let's keep looking through. I'm not going to stall too long there, but I'm excited, guys. Wow, this changes things. All right, all right, here we go. I flipping love Giant Banana. So, the Sunday tour starts now. Okay, click Green Stars, Ready Ra. Oh, the gold Tanuki Parafoil is the tour gift. Not a great glider, guys. The original Tanuki Parafoil with the mushroom skill was really good. 
the gold tanuki parafoil i don't know anyone who went in on that so a bit disappointing but we'll see what happens um we've got the me cup boost which is still here which is good then we've got the rosalina me racing suit in the lineup in the me racing suit shop ah very good oh oh let's go guys the question mark block me racing suit is a raw rule for placing high in the rank cup you have to finish in first place to get it again okay so people who missed out on it first time are you going hard into it i'm sure you will be i've already got it i think on this account but i don't have it on my free to play account so this might be the the tour to go all in on ranked and make sure i get first place so really exciting guys and uh, this will be a free level up to people who already have question mark like me racing suit so it might make it more justifiable to spend t tickets on that item maybe it's got some buffs too i would imagine so man i'm excited for ranked this tour guys so let's go check it out um so, yep so we go what is the giant banana skill let's check out uh, that's the daily selects okay grab event tokens scattered throughout courses so it looks like it's going to be in coin box so yeah if you're if you're going to make a run at acr this tour then uh, it might be a giant banana tour because uh, that's going to be a lot fun, more fun than d going after Koi Box. Next up, we've got Celebrate the Sunday Tour with the Flying Flappers. <laughs> <coughs> oh my gosh, that's a terrible name. The Flying Flappers. Guys, I'm going all in. I'm going to take the Flying Flappers to level 8. <laughs> flying Flappers. That's commemorative though, that is cool, because um, you can get, you know, you can, if you're not bu really buying much stuff, you're not really a whale, but you're happy to buy a pack every now and again, this can be good, um, going, taking something straight to level 3, um, but let's take a look at its starting coverage, because that's where it really matters, so we've got a Red Shell Glider, Red Shell Gliders are good, they're not the best, but they're good, we've got Sky High Sunday, Remix Rainbow Road 2RT, Wario Shipyard, Cooper Cape T, Remix Villain Lake 1R and 1R, uh, and Vanilla Lake 1R, Remix Vanilla Lake 1T, Cooper Cape R, and then we've got Wario Shipyard R as the uh, level 8 unlock. There's a lot of overlaps with other good gliders here, guys. I don't see any coverage here which has hard-to-cover courses, so it might be one of those ones that you buy it once and you stash it, or buy it three times and stash it depending on your spin level. I doubt people will be taking that to a high level this tour, especially with a name like the Flying Flappers. That's flipping terrible. Anyway, let's move on. We've got Car Pro back. Shout out to Frenzy Fangirl, who absolutely loves going for Car Pro. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But uh, yeah, Car Pro, bit of fun, some free rubies. So man, it's looking like a generous tour. Hopefully the token and the tier shop are good too, so that it's, we can really rate this tour highly. And then we've got the uh, Ice Cream Me Racing Suit is here. So here we go. Ice Cream Me Racing Suit with the Ice Flower. So we got two Sky High Sundays, including the Sky High Sunday tea. This is um, something I've observed recently is that what they're doing with these new Mies is they typically, you know, give it this paywalled course like Sky High Sunday tea, which will be in second week ranked. I'm calling it now. And they give it this one really, really hard to cover course, but then not much else of, of, of substantial value. And then, of course, that it gets a lot less courses, and and it's got a poor skill. So I I recommend avoiding the the kind of the scamminess of this from my perspective. It doesn't make sense to invest tickets in this just for ranked. Um, you're better off just taking the loss and f living to fight another day. So holding your rubies, saving your rubies, and saving your tickets. Um, but each to their own, of course. Um, so it's a backup option if you really need to go in. And for 70 rubies, you know, for some people, they're going to love that. Okay, now we've got the packs and we've got the cucumber, iron cucumber pack. Interesting pack. I feel like that needs another high end to make it justifiable. So, yeah, not really great. We've got the blizzard parasol. Blizzard parasol. Man, that's a bit of a blast from the past. I don't know that this one has too much value these days I, I, it's got an uh, it's got sky high sunday rt not really that valuable being an rt course won't return as much but you know that's okay if you need to get some rubies looks like this is going to be the really good pack this tour so we've got the cat rosalina pack it's got cat rosalina and the gray cat cruiser i know a few people have invested in this cart it's got some good coverage and it's got a buff there too 
which is nice. Um, and it's got two items, which is, you know, better bang for your buck. Okay. I think that's going to be it. So, of course, we've got the other kind of value packs. That's cool. Let's carry on, guys. We've got heaps to get through. So, let's go ahead next and check out the challenges. Okay. So, we've got the premium challenges, which has white Yoshi. Okay. That's okay value. And then we've got a glider ticket. Uh, I, I hear people say, you got to purchase this every tour. In New Zealand, this thing costs nine bucks. So, I'm not going to be purchasing it every tour. Only if I really need the item up the top. Or I'm really desperate for the coins and rubies and tickets. And so we'll see what happens there. I've already completed the summer challenges. Uh, it's been really great getting those 30 rubies. So I'm back to 471, which is fantastic. We've got our standard tour challenges. We've got our tour multiplayer challenges, which is great to get, uh, you know, a few more coins and rubies. Cart Pro. There we go. So we've got uh, a variable amount of rubies, depending what... Uh, what multiplayer level you're at i think it's called level maybe it's called tier and um, so i've got tw the 21 up the top plus the ones on the cart so it's pretty generous then we've got the total points challenge with some cart tickets uh that's good so we've got a, a two high-end tickets there uh, that's cool we've got gold challenges that's cool as well all right Cool, let's go check out the tour gifts with a glider skill ticket up the top. That's great. And then we've got, yeah, ooh, 25 rubies on that first row. Then we've got another 15 rubies, another 13 rubies. We've got the three high-end tickets here, the gold tanuki parafoil, and then two more high-end glider tickets. I'm liking it, guys. So that's already one, two, three high-end gliders. Plus, if we go back to the challenges, we had four if you buy the premium challenges. And then we've got, those are, those are cart ones. So, yeah, pretty, pretty generous so far. Let's go ahead and check out the shop. So, we've got the packs, which we've already been through. We've got the Me Racing Suit Shop. So, we've got the Cheap Cheap Me back. We've got the Chain Shop Me. The Rosalina Me has a discount. That is really interesting. Huh. Wait, so where's the ice cream? Oh, so the ice cream one's at the top. Interesting. So they've got two. Oh, I'm not going to purchase that. We've got two with a uh, two with a discount. That's quite, that's quite good. Maybe this is a sign of things to come, that they're going to continue to discount them. And because people have been saying, you have to get them while they're 70 rubies because they'll never come back. But if you missed out on the Rosalina one, maybe that's time to get it now that it's on discount. Here we go, token shop. So I've got the great sale, two of five to level seven. So that's nice. That will take it. Uh, two away from level seven and we've got oh there we go driver cart and glider and then another that one's a cap driver cap very nice oh look at my daily selects today guys very nice i'm very short on coins because i've been getting some really nice high-end tickets since maxing out the normal carts highly recommend picking one normal category and maxing it out in daily selects and one high-end um i've had really really good hit rates so far I'm definitely going to purchase one of these bad boys. Um, I don't know if I'll purchase these ones. And I probably won't purchase the gold glider. But um, if I had the coins, I probably would. Let's check out the tier shop. We have Lemmy. We have the, what's this one called? Um, the Blue 7, which is a great car. You can see I've maxed that out. And then we've got the Blizzard Balloons. That's cool. And then uh, I've got, oh yeah, cool. Not really too much of interest in the tier shop today. That's an okay tier shop. Yeah, maybe like a 6 out of 10, 7 out of 10. Ooh, that's a cool badge. All right. So let's go in and check out the ranked cup. And we're going to examine the courses. We're going to examine the coverage. So we've got Sky High Sunday, Vanilla Lake 1, and Sky High Sunday RT. So let's check out Sky High Sunday. Ooh, we've already got an overlap here with... Um, Chef Rosalina and the new White Tanuki. We've got the ice cream, Dr. Bowser. Pretty paywalled. And most people aren't going to have one of these drivers at a high level. If we take a look at the Silver Meat, it's been really gaining some traction. And you can see it actually got a top shelf buff. So for Sky Garden, uh, sorry, <laughs> Sky Garden, Sky High Sunday, it's got a buff here. Last tour, however, you see it got, um, oh, the tour before it got Piranha Plant Slide as a 
favoured course. So then with the cup boost, it put it on the top shelf. So between the coverage here, it's actually started to really catch up with that gold me in terms of value. Um, so that will be what I'm going in with now if I'm not pulling any pipes. Then here we go. Ooh. It's really good to see the uh, Sakura Hop Rod starting to get more buffs now because I've taken that to level 6 and double capped on my free to play. And wow, this is pretty paywalled. This is going to be a challenge for me with this account right here because I haven't invested in any of these cards, guys. And there isn't an obvious contender to invest in either. So that will be a challenge. And then, ooh. This is big for this bad boy, um, so it looks like, yeah, it just got the one course, but that might be enough for people to invest into it. And the Sakura Origami Glider finally starting to get some, some coverage as well. That's pretty bad, guys. I'm going to need some upgrades if uh, if, if I want to go for ranks this, cup, this tour. All right, we've got SNES Vanilla Lake 1. Oh, this is an old school course. It all... Oh, look at that bad boy. It's been a while since Santa Bowser was back in rank, so I'm really glad to see that. Then we've got a few options here. This is an old school course, so, man, the Platinum Taxi's really been having a ranked comeback recently. I've used it in rank like three or four times in the last couple uh, tours. And that will be my cart for now, but I definitely want to take Rambi Runner to a much higher level, so, uh, yeah, I would love to do that this tour if it was a possibility. And then we've got uh, massive amounts of overlap here. <laughs> but I've got, yeah, 8-bit uh, Fire Flower or the 2020 Glider. Man, that's that's interesting. But there's my loadout for Snares Vanilla Lake 1. i going to enjoy that course because it's been a while since it was back. Then we've got Sky High Sunday RT. So again, we've got vanilla uh, White Tanuki. I want to call him Vanilla Tanuki. So double feature there already. And when these are the alternative options, that really makes me interested. People who have already invested in Rosalina Volendam are going to be absolutely killing it this tour. So that's a fantastic buff for her. It's not really a pay-all buff. It's more of a, a, a lower value one. But hey, it's, it's, a, it's a ranked appearance. So that's great. And wow, so we've got Sweet Ride... We've got the Daikon Rocket. Interesting. Black Penguin Slider is a blast from the past. So some people have that at a high level. And people who invested last tour in the Flowery Bandwagon, that's good too. Bit of a puzzle to work out, guys. There's um, a lot of paywalling going on here. The Fiery Manta, uh, Fire Manta Glider. That's a good buff too. Look at this. Look at this cool new glider. The icy, icy Mario's moustache with green shell. I'm already, I'm already calling it now. There's going to be an icy Mario moustache gang, or just like the moustache gang. <laughs> and then we've got the silver manta, which I don't really use this glider very often, so it's interesting to see it in ranked. Not a great ranked week for me, guys. Let's go take a look at what other courses are in the tour, and then we will go and take a look at ranked week two. So we've got Baby Baby Park. Uh, ah, we've got the Donut Plane set. We've got Coconut Mall. Rosalina's Ice World. Cooper Cape. Wario Shipyard. Okay. And Yoshi Valley. So, cool. Interesting set of courses. Not my favorite uh, courses, but, you know, it's a tour. We'll take it. So let's check out our week two uh, ranked loadouts. With RMX Vanilla Lake 1R, we've got Satellaview, who's level 16 double capped here. White Tanuki is on the same course there as well, so it would be interesting to contend those two. We've got the Dark Hot Prod back again, Black Turbo Birdo, the White Bruiser, Armored Rider, some massively valuable cards. I'll be interested to look at if Armored Rider has some good coverage this tour too because i'm keen to invest in that one so that will be my loadout for now but i'm keen to man i could this could be my tour guys we have to see we really have to see then we've got oh santa bowser back as a double feature he's always valuable when there's one of these icy you know uh, frosting tours <laughs> um 
Armored Rider double feature in ranked. That's pretty cool. And that would be my best cart right now. People with the Silver King are going to be loving that. And then Silver Surfmaster continues to just be absolutely insane with double feature in ranked. I think that will be the uh, glider to invest in, which I just pulled in my free to play as well. So, some investment options there. And then we've got Sky High Sunday T. Boom! That's what we like to see, guys. Gold me racing suit. So, yes, it got it. Uh, that is absolutely massive buff for the gold me. So that's an exclusive coin box track. So gold me um, just goes to the next level. Then we've got an ice dozer exclusive. Ooh, and the lightning streamliner. All right, so we've got some, some value. Some value. And man, that coral jet cruiser, it's going to be big. So it's only got one buff this tour, but it's, a, it's an important buff. So that's really good to see. Ooh, pretzel glider. Oh, we've got some really rare ones. Man, this Nabbit oil paper umbrella doesn't know what year it is, does it? <laughs> it's already had... Look at this, guys. This is how many, uh, how many buffs it's had this year. It's had five buffs this year. Crazy. Man, I'm stuck with a level one glider. That's going to be very rough. Very rough, guys. The loadouts are not looking as good as I would like, but we will make do. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the loadouts. Let's go ahead and do our uh, quick play. We've got the ice cream and see what we get in our pipe. And then we're going to go and check out the new courses. So, man, <laughs> I look hilarious with an ice cream on my head. So, guys, let me know down in the comments below. How would you rate this tour? Um, will you be going in for White Tanuki? Man, I am super, super tempted. But at the same time, I want to make sure that if I'm going in, it's going to be worth my while. Um, so I'm really, I'm really nervous about spending rubies. It just takes so long to build back up to 450. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, but I'm excited. I'm so stoked that he got a plus skill. It's crazy the amount of high scoring skills we're getting in this game now. Um, but I, I, I like it. It's cool. And yeah, let me know what you're doing, guys. Are you going all in? I feel like there's going to be a lot of getting hit with ice flowers this tour, which is going to be fun. <laughs> all right, one more lap. Maybe we can get a gold. Gold, today's challenge pipe is always a gem. I have had 45 rubies once, that was amazing. Alright, see if we get anything good first race of the tour. <laughs> it looks ridiculous, I love it. Okay, here we go, give us something good. It's really thinking, here we go. Ooh, a thousand coins, that's good, I like it, I need the coins, so... There we go, Baby Park R. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the new course, Sky High Sunday. And I'm going to go in with Chef Rosalina for now. I knew she would get the buff. I just knew it. So let's go all level one. Base points not even maxed. Man, this, uh, this game gets harder and harder to cover courses. New courses coming out all the time. Oh, look at the Yoshi sitting up for ice cream. That's so cool. Here we go, we're straight into a glider section. Oh, look at how many item boxes there are. Okay, you can't do tricks. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Making banana splits, guys. <laughs> that was a great start. Oh, look at these big wafers. Whoa, I don't even know where I'm going. <laughs> this is crazy. I don't even know what way is, is, is the right way. Oh man, double frenzy first first try. The level one driver. Cart and glider. Not even base point maxed. I like it so far guys. It's quite easy. 
Uh, so like it's oh yeah, look at the map. It's basically a giant loop. So really super easy. Um, try not to hit too many of my own bananas here. Oh, I was trying to go left, but it failed to do that. Oh, this is the danger of giant bananas, guys. Dangerously fun. Okay, there's a big tub of ice cream there. We've got some ice cream wafers, and then we kind of go out on these, like, shoot things into, into another ice cream tub. <laughs> this is brilliant. I love it. I just absolutely love it. We've got hit by a blue shell bite, Chef... Mario, come on Chef Mario, you gotta sort us out man. We're Chef, we're Chef friends. Okay. There we go. That was fun. I like it. Something different. Look at the colours, it's... Man, this game just gets more and more fun, right? All right, guys, let's go ahead now and check out the data mining, and then we're going to wrap this thing up. But hope you've had fun coming along with me, analyzing the courses and analyzing what's coming out this tour. Really excited uh, to see another giant banana character in this game. It's absolutely fantastic, and it's so cool to hear that and see that Nintendo's listening to their fans about what they find most fun in this game. And, uh, you know, I, I think what they're doing is actually taking on coin box and actually offering people another alternative so it's pretty cool oh we've got a top 1000 player in my ranked with a level 8 bowser okay that's going to be my challenge this tour seeing if i can get first place all right guys let's go and check out the data mining i'm going to jump over to discord here and let's go ahead and jump into the frenzy fan server and check out the current tour resources. All right, here we go. Ooh, new regulars in the Sunday tour. The White Snow Skimmer and Calico Parafort. Interesting choices. Pretty random, but okay, we'll take it. In pipe two, we've got Penguin Toad, Penguin Toadette, and then looks like the Pink Sweet Ride. We need to go check out the items, guys. I've completely forgot to do that. We've got the Frosty Bowels Aurora Balloons. Then for the 50 pipe... Looks like we've got some Marios and a Rosalina. Galaxy Glide is good. And we've got that new Icy Mario moustache. We've got the Week 2 pack, so the Decal Streamliner, the Ice Dozer, and Tanuki Mario. And what else have we got? Data Mine Tech. So, Sunday Pipe 2, the Strawberry Soft Swerve debuts in the spotlight. Ah, that will be the name of that card. The Strawberry Soft Swerve. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Penguin Toad and Penguin Toadette are also in the spotlight. And then we've got the Cold Pipe, the Icy Mario's Moustache Glider debuts. This pipe starts with 50 things in it, high-end appearance rate at 12%. That's cool. And it sounds like only the new Moustache Glider will be the, uh, will be the uh, spotlight for that one. Thank you, Cooper Vossola, and all for all the data mined content. Let's jump over to Cart Life, just check if there's anything that we've missed Probably not. Oh, here we go. Uh, so we've got the locked cups. So let's take a quick look at the locked cups. We've got the toad cup with Bowser's Castle. Ah, uh, uh, so we've got... Is that this tour? Uh, oh, yeah, it is. Okay, cool. So we've also got Bowser's Castle back. Um, where I should be able to already seen... Yeah, so it looks like all those Bowser's castles are hidden behind the lock cups. So I've got pretty good loadouts for those courses. Cool. All right, guys. That is the data mine content. Where am I? So thanks so much for joining, guys. I hope you have a fantastic tour. Um, actually, why don't we just do a 10 pool just so we can 